Hi Matt, how you doing? Yeah, I've been watching your videos for a while, and I see you're at the sort of the crossroads, uh, whether to move to Mac or uh, from move, to move from, from Mac to Linux. Uh, I've been um, producing videos on uh, Linux now for more than a year, um, and I haven't had any problems. I know when I first uh, was thinking about it, uh, when I went and read the reviews, uh, most people said that you can't do uh, really good video production on um, on uh, Linux, but I haven't found any problems with it. I've been able to produce what I consider to be half decent videos. It's not stopped me at all. Uh, the only thing is, is that uh, that that you should be aware of, and I and I see from from your from the work that you're doing that you're sort of no stranger to um, putting stuff together yourself. Uh, the difference between, uh, and this is what I explain to to uh, people who ask about the differences between Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. Mac and Windows are an out of the box solution. Uh, they give you what you want without really any mu without really fussing around. Uh, Linux is really a, 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 a is a system that is so open that it's custom tailored. You have to sort of uh, you can get Linux generally, and then you can custom tailor it to whatever you want it to do. Uh, like for example, you don't have to stay stay with one particular desktop. Like, like uh, Ubuntu now comes with Unity. Most people hate Unity, so they pull the Unity out and put uh, GNOME Desktop three in there. For myself, I've tried GNOME Desktop. I've tried the GNOME environment uh, three, and I've even tried two classic. Not really a fan of it. I was actually more of a fan of KDE, but there are problems with KDE, and so my solution was really to sort of scale back KDE. And then underneath KDE, put in GNOME environment so I could run a hybrid KDE GNOME environment. That's what I'm running now. Is I'm running a network on this. Uh, that's a, uh, a a hybrid uh, KDE GNOME environment in terms of the desktop. And uh, recently, this is where I'm how I'm doing how I'm doing, the, doing this now is um, I've recently integrated Android into the Linux network. So uh, in terms of functionality and what you can actually do with it. There are really no limitations as long as you are, un, uh, as long as you understand and are willing uh, that that you're going to have to do some, do some tinkering. There's not going to be an out of the box solution. There is going to be you're going to have to sort of experiment with things, if you will. Um, if you want to, my suggestion is is I say to a lot of people, this is what this is what I actually do is I don't go out and buy a new system. I go out and buy a refurbished system because Linux runs great on old systems. That's that's what that's part of the charm of Linux. Is it runs great, great on all systems. So you can build a beta test bench to see how you want things to go, and then migrate whatever you get working on the uh, on the beta test bench into a working production environment. So that's what I do. Is I have a beta test bench. I want to try something. I want to try something new. I test it out first on the uh, on the beta, and then I move it over to something more significant into full into the full production environment. And so. That's the way I approach uh, Linux, and I, said, I've, I haven't been back on Windows in years. So, <laughs> and anyways, it's uh, whatever your preferences are. If you want out of the box, then it's Mac or Windows. If you want, if you don't mind the sort of the fiddling around, and I see you've been working with our Arduino, that, that I don't think Linux should be much of a problem for you because you're used to that type of work. So, anyways, uh, I hope this helps, and I hope to see you around YouTube. All right, bye.